Recovery is really, really important for these guys. And in order to be able to continue to compete at an elite level, it's actually during the recovery period is when they're actually adapting to a lot of the things that we're doing, which allows them to prepare to be able to perform at that high level in the games on the weekend. Yeah, it's important, you know, to, to get the body moving after after a match, um, you know, get the get the blood flowing and nothing too crazy, but, you know, definitely getting out there like a jog and stretch and, and getting some touches on the ball. You know, little things maybe like picking up different habits and, and, you know, just trying to take care of my body, just going a little further, that a little extra in terms of maybe sleeping a little more or eating a little better, things that I wouldn't do as much uh, when I was in college. So in terms of being able to perform at an elite level, our highest performers and our most consistent performers will generally get plus 10 hours of sleep. And that would usually be divided between their sleep at night and then usually a nap in the afternoon. Now in terms of being able to survive at an elite level and be able to be performing at the elite level, I think you probably need at least eight or nine hours plus a nap in the afternoon just to allow yourself the time to recover from all of the work that you're doing. In terms of a general population person or just you know your general weekend warrior, it's gonna be a little bit highly individual, but I think at the end of the day, the more active you are, generally the more sleep you're gonna need to recover from the things that you do. Well, it's important getting proper amount of sleep after a game, even though it's a bit tough because mentally you're, you're just, your mind is so awake, but it's definitely important um, to get a good amount of sleep and then the next day, you know, having as much rest as possible.